My name is Elliot Morgan. It's a Snapchat! That's the intro. That's it. Welcome to SourceFed. Couple uh, quality check reminders. If your internet is capable, I recommend a smooth 720 resolution. Want to make sure you see this blank white wall and all its HD glory. Lose the uh, annotations with that button down there. After you click that like button, there's an ever-present subscribe button, but more on that in a second. And click out of that ad right now. Or click on it and buy a product. You're a free person. Do whatever you want. Okay, now that you're watching this in a quality that is comparable to say like, I don't know, television, let's delve into what could be the next big thing in entertainment. Are you talking about 48 frames per no. second? No. Oh. According to some insider super secret people who talk to Ad Age, YouTube is planning on unveiling, wait for it, you ready? Three, two, one, here comes paid subscriptions. But you already knew that because it's in the title of the video. That's right there or down there, whatever. So here's what the alleged plans are thus far. Can I get some uh, bullet points up here? Whoa. Bullet points without sentences next to them just look like dots. That's bull crap. Let's do numbers instead. Thank you. One, the when, possibly this spring. Two, the who, only about 25 channels from established networks. Three, the how much am I going or not going to pay. One to five dollars a month per channel. The four, the what, brand new channels of varying kinds, but perhaps including live events, self-help, and financial advice. Now, the big question, should this happen? Personally, I'm inclined to agree with the YouTube spokesperson who stated, we have long maintained that different content requires different types of payment models. I would actually agree with this, but what the content might require isn't necessarily what the consumer will provide. Here at SourceFed, we are in total agreement on whether we personally would pay for YouTube channels. Yeah, I'd pay if it was like high quality entertainment from someone I respected. If it offered new information about video games or sneak peeks or something cool like that, then yeah, I'd pay. Oh, no way, man. I wouldn't pay for it. I'd find a way to pirate it. Arr. I pay like $7 for Netflix. I get a bunch of TV and movies. Why would I pay $5 for one YouTube channel? Yeah, that's true. I get that. Arr, Bieber. I would pay, but there would have to be a lot of very high quality content. And it better be amazing if they go with $5 a month, because with five channels, all of a sudden you're paying $25 a month, and then you're talking $300 a year, which begs the following question, how do I know if this channel is worthy of that much money on a monthly basis? So I guess it depends. Hmm. And out of all of them, I'd probably agree the most with Trish. I'd probably pay for a few channels if they were one or two dollars. Most likely scripted shows, because that's what I'm into. The reality, though, is that we will always pay for entertainment. We all still pay to watch YouTube. We just use a different currency than money. Unless you use Adblock, you're still purchasing the content you see in this little box by glancing at ads, by sitting through pre-rolls. You're paying with your time and your attention and your internet connection. Whether this will ultimately happen, not happen, or be only an experiment remains to be seen. That said, what do you think? Since, you know, you're actually what this is all about anyway. I'm Elliot Morgan. Goodbye.